One year ago today, I built this modified Johnson Sioux bioreactor to build the best compost system that you can make. Today, we're gonna test it and find out how good it came out. Let's do a quick overview. Originally, I built this one year ago and I put horse manure that I knew was clean and wood chips with leaves into this. I layered it by doing the lasagna method where it was wood chips, manure, wood chips, manure, all the way up until I got to the top of this. And I also had a pipe in the center that was removed once it settled. I even mounted this pile up to where it was about a foot higher above this rink. Initially, the pile does sink a little bit and it definitely sank to being about level with this. And over the last year, it has continued to sink. It is now just a little bit taller than halfway from its original height. So that is quite a bit that this has sunken down. Initially, this did heat up and it got to about 140 for a few days and then it just started to cool down. Once it hit about 85 degrees, I introduced some worms and then I just left this. It did get watered every two to three days just to keep a nice even moisture so that way the worms were happy and the decomposition can happen in this pile. And that's all I did for this last year. All right, so now that we have seen how this compost has done over the last year, let's go ahead and take a sample of this and put it under the microscope and let's see what we find. All right, I am now inside. I have my soil sample and I went ahead and added water to a small bit of it about a 10 to 1 ratio so one part of the compost and 10 parts water and i'm going to go ahead bring you in uh, connect you to my microscope and then we can look through see what we find see how uh, healthy this compost really is so we have some protozoa right here we also have some bacteria moving around lots of organic matter more protozoa some fungal spores, it looks like three. I am also seeing some mycelium and a nice uh, hyphae strand with some more organic matter that's been broken down. So overall, this compost is looking really good. I'm not finding any root knot nematodes or even predatory nematodes, but that's okay, I am seeing lots of fungal growth. All right, so now that we've been able to check the compost and we can see that the quality is worth the effort and the amount of time it takes to make this, we can go ahead and start collecting this and using it out in our field. Now, because of the quality of it being so dense with microbes and fungal spores and hyphae strands, that it's, it's so healthy that we can actually go ahead and make some compost tea out of this. Now in the next video, I'm gonna go ahead and make some compost tea using this compost from my Johnson Sioux bioreactor. I'll be using it as a foliar spray to help my plants be as healthy as they can be. So be sure to subscribe, that way you can see the next video where I make compost tea and I'll show you how to use it as a foliar spray as well. This is probably the longest video that I have going so far where it took over a year to make this from the beginning to now. And if you like what you saw, hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. That way I know that you like this video and I keep making things like this. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.